Now I'd like to go over some note values with you. And uh, first I'd just like to explain this uh, grand staff here. When you're looking at a piece of music, you've got your treble clef here and your bass clef. Your treble clef is going to be played from middle C up, and your bass clef will be played from middle C down most of the time. And then you've got your time signature, and this, this is 4-4 four, four time. And this means that there's four beats per measure. And in between these two bars is called a measure, or you could call this a bar, one bar, two bars, three bars, or one measure, two measure, three measures. And you've got your bar lines right here. And that just puts everything in perspective. There's four beats per measure. So the top four means that there's four beats per measure. And the bottom number means that a quarter note will be worth one beat. So let's go ahead and grab a quarter note and let's put it in there. And my software is going to automatically put the associated rests with this um, as I put these notes in. So since this is supposed to be four beats per measure, I put in a quarter note, which is worth one beat. And then I've got a quarter rest, which is for the second beat. And then I've got a half rest. Looks like a top hat. It's pointing up. So this is good for two counts. So to count this out, we'd have one and then you'd rest on the third beat, or the second beat, and the third and fourth. So let's grab another quarter note and put it in there. And this is the C note, by the way. You notice that the quarter rest went away, and you've got one, two, and then you would rest on the third and the fourth beat. So let's grab um, a half note and put it in there. And you notice that the half rest went away. Because the count would, this is good for two beats, so the count would be one, two, three, four. Now, there's something, uh, there is another note that has a, a, a very large value, and it's a whole note. And a whole note is good for the entire measure. So it's good for four counts. This whole note. Uh, would be counted out one, two, three, four, and you'll notice there's no associated rests in here to fill in the measure because it doesn't need it. The whole note filled the whole measure up. So your count would be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So now let's go to an eighth note. Let's put an eighth note in here. Now you'll notice that uh, two eighth notes equal one quarter note. So in order for this to count out correctly, they had to put an eighth rest in there. So you got your one eighth note, which would be one and two, three, four. So this is a quarter rest and this is a half rest. So one and two, three, four. Let's put another eighth note in there. And that the software automatically ties the bar um, stems together on the notes. So you've got one and two, three, four. And if we put another eighth note in there, that would be one and two and three, four. See that landed on two, and then this eighth rest is and three, four. And if we added another eighth note, it ties them all together and your count would be one and two and three, four, because this is good for two counts. Now I'm going to go whole note, which is good for four beats. Remember, this is four, four time. And then you've got a half note, which is good for two beats. You put two of them in a, a uh, four, four measure, and, and you've, you've filled it up. And then you've got a quarter note, which is good for... Uh, one beat each, and then you've got your eighth notes, which is good for two eighth notes is a quarter note, so that's a half of a quarter note, and then you've got your sixteenth notes. So that'd be one and uh, two, three, four. So 
that's probably a, they do have 30 second notes but I'm not going to get into that and you've seen our rests you've seen the uh, 16th rest, 8th rest, quarter rests and the whole and half rests and those are just things that you'll get used to over time and then we've got some chord symbols that um, we could show you again and I'm just going to sharp this and we're going to undo that and I'm going to go like this and like this and then we'll go like that I don't know why that natural symbol came in there but I can use it uh, in this tutorial uh, this symbol right here would sharp that uh, C note so that would be a C sharp and then it would make it a natural C now that's a natural sign right there and this blue line here is just part of my software so I, there ain't nothing I can do about that um, maybe I can slide another natural note in here somewhere yeah that's what a natural note looks like right there so that would make that a C natural you know if it was supposed to be um, sharped or something anyway that's those are the note values and as we're progressing through our lessons I'll, I'll have this stuff we'll go over it and over it and I'll make sure that um, you get everything that you need to get out of your lesson as far as counting and all that.